Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And we're going to go back and revisit one of the new Naval Academy missions that I previously took on and didn't do so well at. There has been an update to the game that has uh, fixed some of the most common complaints uh, about the lack of damage being done by the big guns after the Alpha 4 update. So hopefully that's going to make this a little more realistic and a little more um, winnable. So we're going to take on the U.S. Super Battleship, and we're going to uh, choose Boost Technology. What we've got to do here, we've got to build one battleship, and we've got to sink three of the four enemy battleships. He's got four battleships along with eight destroyers, so it's a huge fleet that we've got to take on with one ship. But I believe it's possible with staying at a distance and having decent accuracy. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dive into this. I've got a previous build that I had. Um, with this, but obviously we've got to make some changes. You can see I'm overweight and over budget. So uh, my Battleship Ohio is going to have to be updated somewhat to be able to get uh, to the place where I'm able to take it out. All right, so here's what we're going to go with. We have a 28 knot Ohio that's almost 100,000 tons. Um, Krupp 2 armor, some protection on all these areas, especially the anti-flood, reinforced bulkheads, triple hull bottom. A little bit of anti-torpedo, but not a lot. Super heavy shells. We're going with the dual uh, 18s. Uh, they're Mark 5s, so they have a pretty good accuracy, a pretty good range. And we're, we have 130% bonus to long-range accuracy, so I hope that's going to help, uh, help keep them at a distance so we can pick them off one by one. Uh, but we also have, hopefully, enough speed to do that. I, if I do anything that I might change, if this doesn't work, I might add some more speed uh, to keep him at a distance. So let's go ahead and take this out and see how it works. All right, let's do this. we got to sink three battleships while staying alive, which means avoiding being sunk by those destroyers. So we'll get, we'll get in range, and then we're going to stay as far away as we can while keeping close enough to actually be effective because I don't know what the effective range will be of these guns my actual range is 49 and a half kilometers <laughs> that's incredible I don't know how well we're going to actually hit anything at that distance and we've only got 800 shells so that may be the other thing I need to change is I may need to go back and actually add some more shells to this thing which obviously is going to change the weight because I'm just not sure I'm going to sink three battleships from that far away. Where are we at? We're actually at 25 kilometers. So we're that's actually at a, a fairly effective range, I would think. So you can see we're already at 11% chance to hit. With the Mark Threes, it will probably be 1% right now. thing in action. That's our reload time. 41 seconds. Not bad for 18s. So we're already landed a pretty good hit. Let's take a look at this thing. Nice. Gonna have to be efficient with these hits. I'm gonna fire eight at a time. That means we really only got about a hundred salvos to sink three ships. I just don't know if that's gonna be enough. Not while simultaneously using my strategy of staying far away. I don't wanna get any closer than about 20 kilometers. Well, the good news is he's not causing much damage so far. It looks like he's using HE shells. Did we already switch targets? We did. All right, so here's the problem. Because I'm going the opposite direction as them, it's probably going to keep switching targets to whoever's closest. So we're going to have to get swung around here. I'm 
Looks like he's got 15s. It's a couple of nice hits. Is that torpedoes already? Right? No, it's just uh, those are his destroyers coming at me now. He's not anywhere close to range. Oh, he's going to be in range of my eights pretty soon. I'll slow this down once I get once I get turned around here. Got me down to 87%. There's a nice hit. Alright, let's slow down. Give me a lot of firepower coming at me now. Looks like we might have already sunk a uh, destroyer, so that's going to bring him down to 7. Love those 8 inch guns. Meanwhile, doing pretty good on this first battleship. Used about one eighth of my shells though, but we're at 25% chance to hit now. Every time I take one of these guys out, that's, that's a bunch of guns not firing on me anymore. Here's a nice hit. That didn't do a lot though. Gotta be careful here, he's into 14 kilometers. Just gonna watch these destroyers for a little while because I wanna know when they turn so that I can change my course and speed. A lot of 15 inch shells hitting me. They just damaged my rudder, that's bad. Let me let me start putting some distance between me and them. How are we doing on this guy? He's still not quite at half. One of the other things they did with the the latest patch is they reduced the accuracy of the secondary guns. I guess they were a little too accurate. Now they're super inaccurate. Oh, one of those battleships has 16s on it. There we go. We got a couple of nice hits. Might be enough to sink him. But it looks like he uh, he's about to fire his torpedoes. I think he just did. Okay. All right, we're going to put some distance between us and these battleships. And I want to keep my mains firing on this guy. hits right now. I have to go to triples and give up some weight somewhere else. Gotta gotta sink these guys a little faster. Six percent. Q 
keep an eye out for torpedoes. I should be good. I've changed my angle enough that I'm thinking they'll probably go past me over here. So how much flooding damage have we done? It uh, looks like, like only the two forward compartments. That's not nearly enough. This destroyer is getting awfully close. Switch targets again? No, those are just my secondaries. Oh, I've hit this guy a lot. So I'm not doing enough. 27 penetration hits. Although they're not all on him. Some big hits. Down to 31%. That's still a lot. I have to keep an eye on my ship for a little bit here. Man, it's just so much. I'm taking on 12 ships. Alright, taking on 10 now because I've sunk two of his destroyers. Did we swift? No, no, we didn't shift. He just is back here now. Sixteen and a half kilometers, thirty-three percent chance to hit. I should be hitting pretty much every time with at least one. He's still at twenty-five percent. All right, now we've got flooding. We've got flooding in five out of actually six out of seven compartments. That should be enough if his pumps don't keep up with it. And it looks like they might though. His, his pumps are keeping up with that. That's not enough. I'm just taking so many hits. My damage instability is hitting me for a 19% hit to the uh, accuracy. Yeah, his pumps did keep up with all of that. Darn it. Come on, guys. I also got two destroyers coming right at me. Now I can take a few torpedo hits. I've got that torpedo belt. Ammo detonation. He's still at 14% though. Man. As long as he's afloat, he can fire at me. However ineffective. Man, I'm down to just 580 shells, and I haven't even sunk the first one yet. I think we're going to have to go with triples. And a larger supply of shells. This guy should be done. He's at 2% structural. But that's just one. I gotta sink two more. All right, come on. That's gotta be enough. Whew. 
Meanwhile, he's really getting bold with these destroyers now. Let's go ahead and start turning back the other way. Man, I'm in bad shape. What we gotta do to sink this guy? Guess I gotta hit him again. Now I can't even <laughs> do any damage. Wow. I just don't have a lot left. Now the good news is that if I get in close, if I can survive... See, that was always my strategy was at least sink one or two of them, and then I could get in close and take out the third one pretty quick. Because if I can get in close, my AP shells at a, at a short distance are just going to make mincemeat of one of these battleships. But I still haven't sunk the other one. He just doesn't want to die. We're going to let him sit there for now. He doesn't seem to be doing too much. A couple of his turrets don't even look like they're moving. And I doubt they're going to have a whole lot of accuracy. Let's see what he does here. This is going to be long odds to sink two more. Then we'll probably have to go back and get triples. But like I said, you'll see that as we get closer, we'll cause more damage with these AP shells. We might be able to sink this second one a lot faster than we sank the first one. He's coming in super close. I'm already only at 24%, 83% for float, and that's going to be bad. I don't know why my secondaries aren't firing on him right now. But he's probably going to nail me because I'm a little too close to be uh, and too damaged to be able to dodge torpedoes at this point. Alright, we took that guy out. Probably not before he got off his torpedoes, but yeah, here they come. Now he's gonna hit me with a one. Ooh, I did a lot of damage too. Brought me down to 16%. Here comes some more. Alright, I think he's got me. Let's go back and build this thing with triples and with more shells. Okay, here we go. We've got our triples. We had to reduce armor a little bit, reduce speed a little bit uh, to be able to accommodate the additional weight and cost, but I think it's going to make up for it in the damage that I'm going to cause, so hopefully we can make this work this time. Okay, here we go. We're going the same direction as him this time. That certainly helps. He's at 26 kilometers, so we ought to be able to hit him. He's already firing on me. We haven't gotten ours into position yet. I want to try and keep him at that distance as much as possible. You can see this time I've got 1,600 shells, so twice as many as I had last time. That should keep me firing for a long time. That actually makes it all the more desirable to stay at a distance because I'll probably outlast him in my available shells. So I don't want to I don't want to get this over with too quickly. Nice opening hits. Already caused a nice little bit of damage. 
The longer I can keep him at that distance, the better I'll be, I think. We'll just speed things along a little bit. Because I'm not going to be doing a lot of maneuvering early on. We're just going to kind of stay at this distance, this pace. And try to land a bunch of hits on this guy. You can already see the difference that having those extra four shells every salvo is making. Man. Gotta love the triples. Now I did I did sacrifice some protection to do this and you can see that I'm already taking damage myself. I'm already down by 11%. But I've got him down almost half. So it's certainly worth it so far. Once these destroyers get closer, I'll have to pay more attention to what I'm doing and slow things down some. Nice. Of course, it gets, gets harder to cause damage once we get further along in this process. We're going to have to pound him with a lot of shells to sink him. Man, he's down, down significantly already. We may get a sinking much, much sooner than I expected. Now he's starting to turn away now. He's going to drop, drop in the line. We may not be able to get the sinking right off the bat, but I'd sure like to. I'd like to have one of these guys already down and no longer firing at me. It's going to get a lot harder to hit him now. Come on, boys. Keep going. Lost sight of his destroyers altogether, and that's a good thing. That means they're not close enough to really be a threat at the moment. The longer they stay at a distance, the better I am. I don't have to worry about those. Nice. Beautiful. Loving it so far. And he's been kind of kind of at a standstill with the damage he's caused on me. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Oh, I love these Mark Vs. The accuracy, man, you just can't beat it. He's done. One more hit should do it. We've got an ammo detonation there. One more hit should sink this guy. And then we're immediately going to be able to switch right over to this target. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and switch now because I think the shells that will sink this one are already in the air. I could be wrong, as apparently I am. Guess we're going to have to fire one more time. Yeah, I just messed myself up now. There it is. Alright, we got one down, three to go. Down to 84% myself, but that's okay. I think I'm in plenty good shape for this. Now, we've reduced the number of guns that are firing on me. I'm going to have to fire through this smoke screen. Doesn't look like it's affecting me. Yeah, 25% now. But now we're going to start reducing a new target. Might not get him quite as quickly because of the smoke. What's our distance? Still 25 kilometers. Pretty happy to keep it right there. Oh, yes! Ammo detonation. That was gorgeous. That was amazing. Did not expect that to happen. We nailed his magazine. But now, we can't see anything else. Where's the other one? Because now, we're going to go ahead and turn and close the distance. Where is he? There you are. Wow. That was really unexpected. Yeah, maybe we don't need to close the distance. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Be 
feeling pretty good now. It's amazing how much different this battle is going than the last one. I can't attribute all of that to going to triples because they wouldn't make that much of a difference. But that said, I land a lucky hit. I got some early hits, and that makes a big difference. Getting a couple of early hits because you reduce his accuracy, you reduce his effectiveness with a couple of good hits up front, and that sets the stage for the rest of the battle. And now I've reduced half of his battleship's uh, firepower by taking out two of them. And at this point, unless he can nail me with a bunch of torpedoes, he really doesn't have a chance of winning. Who am I firing on now? Did I switch targets? Please tell me I didn't switch targets. I did. Don't switch targets. I've already got this guy down. By about a fourth. Down by almost half already. Love it, love it, love it. Nothing beats accuracy. Nothing at all. Accuracy and penetration. I'm not even going to worry about the destroyers. Alright, he's at a tough angle at the moment. Seven, tw almost 28 kilometers out. We're gonna get a little harder to hit him now. In fact, what's our? Now oh, we're at 31 percent chance. Thirty seven per cent now. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Man. Oh, wow, already? Oh, man. <laughs> Another ammo detonation. That was beautiful. All right, let me know your thoughts about that. We've got just one more of the new missions to complete, and that is the one where we're basically the hood trying to sink the Bismarck. So we'll bring that one to you next. Thanks for watching.